Hey guys and welcome to the channel. Within this video I'm going to be showing you four of the 12 locations of all the treasure chests located around Los Santos within the sea and within the actual map itself. If you guys want to see more of these videos let me know in the comment section and we'll do all 12 locations. I'm going to show you location 1, 4, 5 and 11 and where to find the scuba gear that will help you out a lot with finding these different treasure chests. I'm going to show you the amounts that you're going to get from the treasure chests and also there's some surrounding items that can be found within near the treasure chests also. So let's get into this video and we're going to find out where the scuba gear is first. So here we go. Okay then, to find your actual scuba gear which you're probably going to need for these locations guys because it's going to help you out a lot. You'll find one of these bolts dotted variously around the map but a good place to start is at the southern end of the map near the airport and in between the ports at this jetty just here you'll see on the map now is you'll find one of these actual bolts and within these bolts is where you will actually be able to equip your scuba gear what happens is once you jump into the bolt is what you'll see in a second as michael struggles to get into the bolt you'll actually find out that when you actually exit the bolt you do have scuba gear on and then you'll be able to jump into the water and be able to submerge yourself underwater for unlimited amount of times which is good because some of these actual treasure chests are quite deep underwater and you will need to, the scuba gear to actually attack these ones and the first one we're actually going to go and find guys is treasure chest number 11 the reason why we've gone for number 11 first is because it's right by this dock actually here so you'll see now we're actually underwater you just have to travel out just about and over 100 yards to where I was just guys and go underwater. The reason why I've edited this a bit out is because this is my first time finding this. I was actually swimming around for quite a while looking for the actual bot, the actual ship shipwreck and the actual way to get into the finding. But what you want to do guys is you'll see the major part of the hull, the major built up part of the hull and you want to go right inside the bow and you'll see the treasure chest just there lying in the middle of the floor within the actual bow of the actual ship so that's your best bet guys is look for the biggest part of the structure of the ship and then go just inside and then you'll find yourself with treasure chest number 11 now they have different varying amounts within the treasure chest and some of them also have weapons and ammunition nearby so look out for other packages as well guys because you will be able to pick up things like rpgs submachine guns sniper rifles and other things such as that you also want to have a vehicle nearby as well when you're doing these things guys such as a boat or a jet ski because in certain areas of the map you will find yourself coming up with sharks if you are in the water for too long on your own just swimming around aimlessly basically so that was treasure chest number 11 now guys what i'm going to do is i'm going to do all of these treasure chests if you guys want to see them because some of them are actually on the map within the land mass some are in the water they're all dotted variously around the map so that's where you'll find treasure chest number 11 you see it right on the map there now if you go directly down from where you see that marker now you will find that ship and like i said it is in the bow right in the middle guys there's different structures around that ship but if you go for the actual bow of the ship and go inside you will find it now we're on to treasure chest number one this is number all uno and you'll find this at the top left hand side of the map You'll see that little peninsula there. It's just off the shore, just there to the northern end of that peninsula, a little bit further out. This one, you don't actually need scuba gear for this one. I went in with Franklin, and we just went and swam down to get these. So what you want to do as well, because you always find two jet skis right by this peninsula. So just jump on one of the jet skis and take a little trip out, and you will find yourself right there now. So we're at that marker now, and you just want to have a little keep having a duck under the water so you can see the actual part of the plane. Now, this is the tail end of the plane. You want to go to the front end of the tail end of the plane not the rear the front end you'll see the package flashing just there and that is treasure chest number one and that contains twelve thousand dollars guys like i said they've got various amounts ranging from like things like nine thousand twelve thousand five hundred eleven thousand different amounts and different weapons surrounding the treasure chest also as well so if you've got the scuba gear which like i said helps out a lot you can take that little bit of extra time to have a little look around but like i said be careful in certain situations because you will find yourself being approached and eaten by sharks as well which i found happened to me the once so now we're on to treasure chest number four which is a little bit to the south of treasure chest number one which you'll see on the map in a second and this is definitely one of the areas where you will find yourself being approached by sharks so you'll see there we're just a little bit south to uh, number one and it's just right there the reason why i'm doing number four and five is because five is right by this one as well guys you won't have to go too far to find number five so you want to find find that little area there disembark off the boat and basically same thing again you want to take yourself down down to the bottom and you will find that this is actual a larger plane that's crashed now at first with this one i couldn't really find what i wanted to do so i'll show you now i'll do a little bit of editing you see this back end of the tail now there's actual opening within to the actual main part of the plane there just to your left now guys you'll find yourself being able to get into the plane 
I wasn't too sure what I was doing for a while, so I'll swing around. You see the opening there, and if you just go straight into the opening now, you'll find the first treasure chest, which is 12,500, so that's treasure chest number four. And then also, if you carry on through the main part of the ship, the ship, the plane, so just, sorry, you'll find armor also, guys. So, like I said, if you've got the scuba gear, you can just take that little bit of extra time to take a little swim around and find the different equipment that's lying around, because things like RPG am ammunition is extremely expensive, so it's always good to be able to find a little bit of extra things like that if you're if you're a bit short of cash because this is a good thing to do if you are short of cash it's a little i wouldn't say extremely quick to gather up cash but it's a good way if you're not doing missions and you just want to bring up some cash so once you've done that guys you want to just surface i just thought i'd show you guys being surfacing there so you can see where i actually exited the plane from so that was treasure chest number four so let's move on to treasure chest number five now, which as you can see on the map there, it's just a tiny little bit south, just on the other side of that little pop out of land there. And this one's a lot easier to find, guys. And you'll see in this one as well, I do pick up all the equipment surrounding it because it's pretty visible. And this one's an actual tugboat. And like I said, once again, it's good to have a vehicle nearby because this is an area where you will find yourself being approached by sharks. So definitely watch out for that, guys. Good to have a vehicle nearby. At this point, I didn't actually have a vehicle because... When I popped back up, my bolt had disappeared, and I actually got chased off by sharks, but I managed just to make it, and this place, it, this part isn't so bad, because when you seem to be in a bit more shallower waters, the sharks don't seem to approach, so you'll see now, I can see things glowing straight away, and I go down, pick up the sniper rifle, um, I'm not sure what this is, I'll pick up now, I think it's sticky bombs, I think, I think that is sticky bombs, and then you'll find the tugboat just to your left there, now you want to go up onto the actual hull of the tugboat, on top, you'll find, you there is the, the actual treasure package, and in this one, I think it's $9,000. Yep, $9,000, guys. And then as I just come off the side of the boat here, I was like, oh, I can see something else glowing. So I went down, and I think it's an Assault SMG or the SMG Carbine. And you can pick that up as well, guys. And also, there's some armor here. But you see, I swim down to it, and I don't actually pick it up because I've already just equipped myself with the armor from Treasure Chest number four. So, guys, if you've enjoyed this video and found it informative, let me know what you think in the comment section. I will do all 12 locations for all the treasure all around Los Santos if you want to see it. That was just treasure chest number 1, 4, 5, and 11. And also where to find the scuba gear because you will need scuba gear to do this, guys. And like I said, not all of them are in the sea. Some of them are actually located within the city and the surrounding area of San Andreas. So if you want me to do all those guys and you want to find them, let me know in the comment section and I will do a couple more parts to show you guys all the treasure chest locations within Grand Theft Auto 5. So if you found this informative and you've enjoyed the video, guys, hit the like button and share the video because it helps out a lot. And if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, subscribe now for more videos like this and also check maybe check out my let's play of grand theft auto 5 also i would appreciate that guys so all i gotta say is i really hope you've enjoyed the video found it informative and i will see you in the next grand theft auto video guys so peace out